All right, so it's gonna be a uh, quick little video this weekend, Build the Kingdom. Um, I didn't really work in the garage this weekend. Just wasn't feeling it. I was uh, feeling spending more time with my family. So, you know, that stuff's good for your soul. I was gonna work on Nightwing, I didn't do it. However, it's now Monday. Uh, I have to put a window regulator in my truck. Um, she no worky. Uh, pretty common on these older, well, sad to say older Chevys. This is an 04 Avalanche. Um, I've actually replaced three window regulators in this truck already. Uh, this will be the second time for this door. I think this is the only door that I haven't put a window regulator in. Or maybe it was that one over there. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They're pretty common on these older Chevys. Went to put my window up a couple weeks ago. Pop. No more go up and down. So, uh, it was cold out. And I had it duct taped up. Just waiting for a day to get warm out. And today it's like 55 degrees and the sun's out. So I'm going to fix this thing so I can stop messing with it. I don't know if you're back far enough. You can also see that this door handle is gone. I had to break that off too. Completely different story, but I'll probably fix that too. But it's the same idea. you got to take the inner door card off to do it. So uh, let me grab you. You know what? I'll show you where the screws are later. This should just lift off. You know what? I think I missed one. Come on. I didn't miss one. But that's got to come off. This should lift up and pop right off. I forgot to take this off. Here. Carefully. Don't break it. Okay. Now it's got to come off. Lifts right off of there. <clears throat> now, you got to be careful because of all the wiring. It's easy, harder to unplug than you would think. So I try to just turn it. I'm trying to set it on my mud stuff there. Like that. Then you can get in here. As you can see, I've already been in here. You get this window regulator out of here. So there's one, there's a couple of screws that hold this thing on. There's one screw right behind the door pull thing, right there. There's one screw behind the lock mechanism, the manual lock mechanism. And then in the back side, there's a little plastic plug you pop off, and there's a Torx bit on the back side of the door card. And on the front side of the door card, it's just one of these plastic push pins. So five totalish bolts to uh, get out, and then it doesn't pop out. It lifts up, then out, and it comes right off. So now we got to uh, figure out how to replace this window regulator. All right, so the sun's a little bit bright out here, so bear with me. First things first, window all the way up. A couple pieces of tape so your window doesn't fall down. Then come down here, and what you're gonna find is, in this square hole here, there's a bolt. That's what holds the regulator to the glass. You gotta take that one out, and then this one up here, you gotta take that one out. After those two are out, come down here, and you gotta unplug this motor. Um, a lot of guys will tell you to take this plastic off, get all this stuff out of the way, which you can do if you if you want to, that's fine. Um, but you gotta get in here and you gotta unhook this window motor or get the plug off of it. Um, after you get it unplugged there, then you're taking, there's three bolts on each side. One, two, and down at the bottom there'll be a third one. Same thing on this side. This side you can see it. One, two, one on the bottom, three. And then right here, there's like a little hook. After you get it all unbolted, you lift up and unpop that hook and it should all drop down. It folds up kind of into the bottom here and you can pull it out. You can actually see the cable, the broken cable right here. All this stuff's busted on mine. Oop, it won't focus. Here's the broken parts for mine. The cable's busted. That's why I won't go up and down. So here's the new one from Rock Auto. All brandy new, shiny. So uh, let me get this. As you can see here, these are the clamps that hold your window. So let me get this uh, other one out of here, this old rusty junk one. And then we'll get the new one in, and I'll, uh, I'll actually turn the tripod on so you can watch me fish this thing out of the, in there, the new one. All right, we got the old one out. Time to uh, get this new one back in here. Uh, I didn't give you a tool list. Uh, seven millimeter for the screws that hold the door card on. The one Torx bit is a T20. And then uh, need a little screwdriver to pop some plastic bits off. Uh, the screws for this, and this that hold this in and the screws that hold the window paired in, 10 millimeter. So 10 millimeter, seven millimeter, 220 Torx. And you should be able to do most of this job. And like I said before, a lot of the guys tell you to take this plastic off 
don't know, I guess it could be easier to do it that way. I just kind of pull it out of the way. We gotta tuck this thing back in there. It goes like this, but it's gotta fit through this little hole, this long hole right here. So, let's see if I can get this bad boy in here. I think I'm gonna go like this. Find the spot. I don't know where it is. You know, I need to look to see if it has it. Huh. There it is. pieces from the old one was still stuck that's why I couldn't get it in there. You should better check that. There you go. That little metal clip in there. The latch it so it hangs. Now we gotta get to this side. twisted, bring this one up here, and metal clip, it'll hang by itself. Now I'm just going to put some bolts back in it, a bunch of these little 10 millimeters to get it back into hanging place. I need to get one of them battery powered ratchets, you know what I mean? Slice my thumb open with my own fingernail. Believe that? Bunch of 10 mils. My number spots. Ooh, made in Taiwan. I'm surprised not. Three. Oh, this light bulb went out. I wonder if it's on a timer or if I broke it. Well, whatever. You drop any of your screws. Clamps to the window are actually down a little bit right now. Um, you know what? I got a mic for phone so you guys could hear me better and it's still sitting in the box. I should really figure out how that works. Tighten these all up. You know, hindsight being 2020, and after looking at that old one when I took it out, 
I'm thinking this is the door that I hadn't done yet. I must have done all three of these other doors because that thing looked ancient. It was in really bad shape and like super broken, not like a little bit broken. So, all right, all of those are in. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can reach my key. We have power. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Here they come. Oh, the motor's window slid down a little. Ah. Up you go. I loosened them a little bit, but I didn't go crazy, so. It's just a clamp that goes on the glass. That's all it is. So I loosen that front one up good with this back. Oh, there we go. You gotta make sure they're good and loose so you can open them up to go over the window. All right, I got both of them open. I'm gonna take this window up. That's it, all the way up. So let's tighten these ones. Obviously, don't break your window. Just snug them up good. They got rubber pads on them to grip the glass. everything goes well this should go down Woo! look at that not the fastest thing in the world but it works now we gotta stick this stuff back on here which is easier said than done oh my lights on now let's shut this key off Still a little sticky. It's not the stickiest thing, but a little bit sticky. Grab my door card. Ugh. Most of the sticky's gone off this. It isn't gonna. It isn't gonna stick real good. So, tuck that in there as best we can. You got these plastic. L-shaped brackets in the back of this door thing. You gotta get them lined up with the holes in the door, in the front, in the back, on the sides. Can't see nothing. In there. I don't know if it's in there. I can't tell. You're definitely not in there. Not sure. There we go. There we go. This is what the uh, torque screw on the back looks like. That one goes right here. You can't see, but it's there somewhere. Right there. Maybe not. Maybe I don't have it. Okay, just broke that. That actually made it easier. I'm a little worried that that's not recording right now, so I'm just going to walk over and check. It's recording. We're good. So, little plastic clip. Little dress up piece that pops on there. So there is a short seven millimeter, just a little guy. That's the top one that goes behind the lock.
long one? Pretty long. That one goes in here. And there's a total, total, total possibility that uh, that's not the original bolt. It's hard to say. This thing's pretty old. So. Run this one in a mile. This one. Your little lock mechanism. You gotta line it back up with this thing. But then it literally pops back in there. You wanna put the front in first. Push pin right here in the front. Make sure it still works. Ta da! Easy peasy. Quick video for this week. Until next time, keep it creative, happy building.